Malone was an American radio broadcaster. He was born on May 18, 1908 in Colorado Springs, Colorado, died October 20th, 1989 in Stafford, Connecticut. His education was William Jewell College. Now some of his books include Should Old Acquaintance, 2013, The Tapestry Maker, 1971, Ted American Pilgrim, 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 Pilgrim Grinch, 1972. Now Ted Malone's star is for the category of radio, located at 1628 Vine Street. Ted he was Malone. an American radio broadcaster. He became interested in oral performance when he attended high school in Missouri. He was also a champion debater in college and graduated from William Joe College in 1928. Malone had a long Ted career in radio as a storyteller and reader of poetry. He was one of the few, few broadcaster broadcast interpretations recorded in the history of radio. His uh, radio program spanning three Ted decades Malone. on local stations and national networks. Perhaps best represented both the initiation and the prime broadcast interpretation. Ted Malone. Now, Ted Malone was born on May 18, 1908, and died October 20, 1989. He is born in Spring, Ted Alton, Malone. Warsaw, uh, the son of a grocer, and was an American radio broadcaster. Malone was born in Colorado Springs, son of Frank Arthur Russell and Grace Ora Gunter Russell. Ted Malone. His father was a minister. He became interested in oral performance when he attended high school in Missouri. He was a debater in college and graduated from William <coughs> Jewell College in 1928. Ted Malone. He was an excellent storyteller and reader of poetry. Malone's broadcasting style was a style of friendly neighbor dropping by chat. He was one of the broadcast interpreters recorded in the history of radio. Malone had a career in radio for more than 40 years. Ted Malone. Malone's Between the Bookends program was broadcast on CBS Radio Network beginning in 1935 and presented two to five times a week for 30 years. During the first year of broadcast, Newsweek reported that Ted the Malone. program had received more than one more fan mail than any other network sustaining program. Malone actively sought poetry contributions yeah, from his yeah. sisters. He published the works in a regular anthology, Ted, Ted Malone. Malone's Housekeeping. When he was a poetry editor between 1940 and 1944, Malone was a popular enough to be called the voice of poetry by the Library of Congress. When Between the Book and Show was in danger of cancellation, the fans of the program were able to convince the network to keep the show on the air. He was an organist in the early days of that program with Hugh Studenbaker, Andy McKay, and associate producers Ernie Kovacs. Ted so the Malone. program ins inspired Kovacs to create his own. Percy Dunster's popularity increased. Malone began writing for other programs and soon became a production manager, production director, and production director at the radio station. During World War II, Malone began to do other types of broadcasts, such as variety shows and quiz shows and went overseas to broadcast the war correspondent, providing human interest soldier stories and listeners. By 1957, Malone was established his own company, Ted Malone Productions. The firm offered uh, production and consultation for radio, television, film industry. Malone partially retired in the 1970s. <laughs> Hollywood says, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment, let us know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe.